What's up everyone? We are back with some chess today. And uh, hopefully this time we get white, because I've been practicing a bit with white, thankfully we did. And uh, I'm forsaking the English for now, <laughs> apparently I have a bad record with it, so <laughs> I'll try the Queen's Gambit instead. I've watched like a uh, one hour video on it, so I'm not uh, that uh, knowledgeable about it, but uh, I'm kind of happy with what I know. I think uh, maybe it's a good idea to play this. So the idea is I don't think I want to capture this pawn right away. It will fall eventually if I play my cards right, <laughs> which is a big if, honestly, but um, at least I know that uh, I should be getting this back uh, at some point. Uh, okay. I'm going to put my bishop out because next uh, step is to get this done. Maybe I could have even done something like this and fin kettled, but um, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Like, uh, because he's allowed me to play the bishop here and maybe potentially double his pawns, I'm happy with the bishop being here. And uh, it's kind of ugly to have to uh, spread my pawns like that. Having a pawn here, another one here, although this one is connected to the other ones and uh, this one opens up the rook, so maybe I'll try that in the future. Um, I don't know why he's thinking so much, <laughs> like, uh, it's, it's what is it, uh, move for? Like, even I don't think that much. Okay, he has some plan, apparently. Um, he wants to take my knight. And uh, if he takes my knight, uh, what's the plan for him then? I don't know, I'm kind of satisfied with where I'm at. So I think his intention is that if I take the knight here, uh, he takes the queen, takes with the queen, excuse me, and hits my bishop, but uh, of course I'm not letting that happen. Oh, maybe even try, should I try e3 or e4? Maybe e4 is better, no? It's difficult to say. I'll try e4, and he's probably taking my knight, in which case I recapture with the pawn and I have a solid center, yeah. Okay, as expected. He's still a pawn ahead. Um, okay, I don't mind that. I don't think. If I come back here, it shouldn't be a big issue. I'm even defending this pawn one, one more time. Attacked by the queen, defended by my queen as well. So it's nice to have it uh, get some extra protection. Next uh, step of the plan is getting the, the pawn back. And I don't think it's very easy for him to defend it. If he does something like this, I think the idea is... Okay, he, he just gave up on the pawn, and I think I'm better here, way more developed, two pieces, big pawn center, a knight about to be uh, put into, into the game, and uh, then I'm going to castle, and I think this is a, is a good opening, I think I won the, the fight of the opening, what did, why did he do that, he wants to maybe play against my bishop and trap it, uh, why don't I do this then? You think you're so smart trying to, <laughs> to trap my bishop like that? Little do you know that I have played against Mikudu, an actual genius, and he has told me to have more uh, board awareness? And I think uh, my game plan for now should be to just be <laughs> as annoying as possible and uh, hope that he blunders because of that. And this move I bet is really annoying for him, because even he, if he pushes, uh, I just take it. And even if he prepares with a move like so, uh, and he takes like so, his rook is going to be hanging, so that doesn't really work either. And yeah, I'm very happy with this, for now. <laughs> Let's not count uh, my chickens before they hatch. But uh, I'm liking that he's thinking so much. Usually I'm the one that has to think, but uh, this time it's apparently different. 
and uh, he made it uh, difficult for himself to develop because um, his bishop is blocked in even if he pushes this pawn and comes here it's going to be blocked in by this pawn so it's not easy he wants to come with this bishop here which um, is it bad i'm not sure what if i come here and then then here maybe I want to not let him have the the uh, open diagonal, but I think it's fine. Like you have only one good uh, one good piece to play with, and it's not like this pawn is under attack. It's defended uh, so many times. His king is kind of weak. Maybe I should try to exploit that with this move right here, hoping to pick up the pawn. And I think I'm uh, in a very good attacking spot, honestly. Because his pieces are kind of far away from the action that is going on uh, in this side of the board. Uh, it's going to be difficult for him to defend. And he'll have to resort to pushing pawns, which is never a good idea. <laughs> I say that from experience, not because <laughs> I actually am some kind of grandmaster. I know that I have pushed uh, pawns in front of my king before and I uh, have paid dearly for it. So I hope that I can punish him too. Okay. Uh, do I like that? I want to maybe do this then. Uh... If I do this, then I can just uh, come here with my knight and attack this pawn again. And if he takes, I can just take with the knight and the knight is in a better position maybe. Although I'm not sure it doesn't have any good squares to hop to. Like if, if my knight was here. Uh, okay, he's uh, weakening his position even more. Uh... This would be hanging if the bishop wasn't here. Very good to note. And the pawn is actually pinned, so if I put a piece here, it wouldn't get taken. Kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. How should I proceed here? If I take then uh, and keep my knight here and push this pawn i think that's uh, not the, the best idea but not a bad idea either so i am going to be maybe happy with that okay i can even actually come here which uh, isn't bad Right, I don't think uh, he can take me. Actually, he can because... Uh, oh no, my queen isn't hanging. Okay, so he can take me. Never mind. And uh, if he were to take my... Uh, no, I was going to say that if he were to take my knight for his uh, fianchetted bishop just to double my pawns... I would be okay with it, but uh, I'm not really sure I agree with that assessment. I think I have a better position, so I want to keep it that way. And how would I achieve that? Maybe with the knight here and pushing this pawn. Uh, I'll try. Even allows me to come in here in the future. Or just uh, push the pawn and go back. I don't know. I'm getting very creative here, which maybe isn't a good thing because <laughs> usually creativity is my downfall when it comes to chess. But uh, so far it's not looking too bad. And usually this is kind of what you want uh, from the English opening as well. Just uh, have the same side uh, king castling and uh, you just go crazy with the pawns. And maybe even bring out this rook eventually, not to that square, but uh, maybe like uh, doubling up with the rooks here. But of course that's more of a long term plan. I'm happy to have it up my sleeve though. 
and I'm happy that uh, he seems to be even more confused than me, he's thinking once again. Uh, what would I do if I were him? Maybe... I, I actually have no clue. Maybe double up here with the queen, bring in another defender. Uh, is that good? I mean, it's not bad. Maybe come out with the knight here. It's not bad either. But then you oh he he's, he's getting scared. Uh, okay. I'll try this then. He can't push once again because I'm taking him for free. So yeah, I'm kind of happy. I don't know, it's, it's very complicated. Maybe I can even push, I was going to say this pawn. Uh, this is just... Uh, okay, he, he's feeling the pressure, I bet. Uh, let me think though. I kind of want to take here, but then he maybe takes here. And he has like uh, one, two... I have three defenders and he has only two attackers, so that's also good for me. But even if I were to take right now, I don't think it's horrible. But I think the taking here is better. Getting his king all naked. Uh, he maybe thought that I would get scared of him taking the, the pawn. I'm not sure about that. I can even do this and it threatens the queen, maybe he doesn't even see that. Let's see. Everything's possible. And if he moves away with the queen, I can just even take the pawn or something. No, then, then he would take with the bishop, but uh, I'm not uh, complaining about my position, not at all. I'm very happy with what we have here. Trading so many pawns and not so that many pieces. Uh, this seems kind of suspicious. If I were to do this, oh no, actually this this doesn't. Uh, I was going to say that it doesn't work, but maybe it does work because uh, it's defended by the rook as well. So I have. I'm going to be attacking taking the bishop and he's going to be recapturing with either the rook or something else. Something else being the queen, of course. Uh, I don't know, I'm happy with this. And uh, I'll come in here. And then I have a free tempo to, to bring in my rook. And uh, honestly, I think I'm way better than him, but I have to finish off the game somehow. And <laughs> I have to think of a way how to do that. Uh, I don't know, he, he shouldn't have let this, this happen. This is very difficult to, to untangle. He will have kind of a easy time to, to develop this bishop. Actually, not really, because even if he brings it here, I can take it. If he brings it here, I can take it. If he brings it here, I can take it. <laughs> if he brings it even here, I can take it. So even the, the only square that he has is this one. Alternatively, he could uh, he could push. Push and come this way. And then he's blocked in by his own pawn. Poor, poor guy. Uh, what else can he do after that? Maybe with the knight here. Or, uh, or here, I guess. But here I think it might, I might just take it and double the pawns. <laughs> I, I'm very happy with this game. First game with the Queen's Gambit. Big success. Great success, as Borat would say. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be making Borat references. Um, okay. Check, if I were to give this check. Maybe not bad. Uh, 
do I have some trick that I could use? Uh, I like this move actually. Like this queen isn't really scaring me, I don't think. Uh, oh, actually I can see the idea. He wants to take this. Okay, I would I would have missed that if I weren't uh, taking a closer look. But what if I try to do this? Where does the king go? Uh, here uh, isn't a good idea. Here may not be a good idea either because then I have this check. And uh, what other alternative does he have? Uh, if he comes here, I can come in with the queen maybe. I don't know, it's difficult to say. If he comes here, I can go in with the knight even. But not really, because the queen would take it then. Uh, I, I don't know, it's kind of an annoying move that he just played. What if I just take the pawn? Take the pawn, he takes this pawn. And then... I can... Do this, and I'm kind of happy with that maybe, because then he wouldn't have many places to go to. Okay, I'll try that. Like, I can't see any checkmate here, so I'm just trying to retain the uh, material advantage. He obviously wants to do this. And after that I can just play the rook defended by the queen, the rook defends the bishop. And uh, actually he can take that pawn after that, but uh, is that really a good idea? I'm not sure. Actually, oh, I figured a, a crazy good idea. What if I'm just baiting him to take here and I can just uh, finish him off with this move, pin to the king so the queen can't run away. Take it, coward you won't. Please do it. I'll feel like a genius. <laughs> uh, please, please. Maybe I'll even uh, try to convince him a little bit by attacking his queen. And like, I'll be like, oh no, I didn't see this pawn. What a blunder. Bam. Okay, I'll be very happy if that happens. Uh, but I think he may see it, he's thinking so, so long, so it uh, makes me think that he sees what I'm going for. <laughs> Which would be kind of impressive, because it took me <laughs> quite a while to, to find. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good for him for uh, finding that if he does. And if he doesn't, it's just going to be GG. With the lack of development, it's not going to be easy for him to... To win even if he's down a queen especially if he's down a queen um, but yeah I, I I'll, I'll just hope maybe uh, okay now is the time I'll just uh, politely uh, make him reconsider and hopefully he thinks of this as a free poem He, he he can't be that uh, oblivious because uh, when he takes that I even have a dish check which is uh, crazy good. So he, he must see at least one of the, the two alternatives, either this or this he can see. So I'm sure he's not going to fall for it, but if he does he's going to make my day or night. I'm, I'm recording this at 1am so it's kind of late. Uh, I'm happy to see that he's uh, confused once again. Maybe I could have even done this. Uh... Interesting. He, he he saw that he can take. I, I really wanted to do this, but uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, that's possible anymore. The queen is defending. Uh, then what can I do? I can do this, attack his queen once again, and hopefully this time he takes the pawn, 
I really hope he takes the pawn. I'm, I'm, I keep uh, persuading him, <laughs> and maybe this is not the most optimal play, but uh, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just happy to be playing around with him like this. Come on, please take it. The knight isn't uh, in a position to fork you anymore if you take it, so it's so safe, right? So please take it. Oh, I, I just saw that I even have this check. Uh, he wants to repeat, that's not an option. If I try this, he, he runs away. And then I can take uh, two minor pieces for the rook. Which uh, I would be happy with. Right, I don't think there's any playing around that. And if he goes to the wrong place with the king, it's going to be even worse for him. Like, if he goes here, I'll just uh, come back, check from the bishop and pick up his queen. I'm sure he's going to see that. He's been thinking so long and finding out uh, all the strategies that I have up my sleeve, even though I'm not <laughs> the one finding them. Uh, okay. What if I do this? Hmm. Interesting, right? Alternatively, I can, I can try to, to come in here. Yeah, I'll try to give one more check, maybe something works out. <laughs> Watch me blunder my queen. <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm doing a mistake by playing this check. I'm happy with this, the rook is still defended by the bishop. I still have the opportunity to... Uh, take two minor pieces for the rook, which is always nice, but even nicer is finding checkmate, so I'm trying to go for that instead. And uh, let's see. It's going to be very dangerous if he goes up, because then I even have moves like... Uh, I was going to say this, this doesn't really work though. I don't know, I'll, I'll just think about it when he does his move, I, don't, uh, I should be thinking on his time of course, but uh, I'm kind of lazy to do that right now. Uh, but maybe I should, I should. If I want to, to win, I should think more. If he comes here, no he can't come there. So what are his options? Coming here, here doesn't work. Here works. Here would also work, but then I'm just giving this check. So realistically, the only move he has is this one. And after that, I should try to think about what I want to do. Maybe a rook check like so. Uh, what if... No, I was going to do that. That just hangs the... Uh, the uh, rook. Or the queen, excuse me. If I do this, what are his options? He can't come here or here. He can come here, maybe. And then I have this check, which just takes the knight. Uh, what other move does he have? He has this move. No, he doesn't have that move because of the... Yeah, I think this is good, actually. We'll see. Yeah. Like, I think the only good move that he has is uh, this one. And it's still not very good because uh, I can just check him like so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm happy with this. Okay. Now, I have this move. Right, this should be winning. Let 
Very creative check. Picking up the knight with the pawn. Oh. Oh. I didn't see that. <laughs> misplay. Huge misplay. Uh, what do I do now? If I were to, to come in here though. Yeah, does, doesn't this work? Because uh, then I can... Uh, yeah, it's a check. The knight can't take it because it's pinned. So the queen would have to take it. Then I take with the knight. And, the, and his knight is still pinned. So, uh, yeah, I think this is good. Am I mistaken? Uh, like by doing this I'm giving up on the checkmate but uh, I'm very happy with this like uh, he'll take with the queen I'll take like so he'll take the knight then I'll take his knight and I'm just up six points of material have the uh, the queen for a rook and uh, how many is it uh, he just <laughs> gave up okay he doesn't want to play anymore. Resign then if you don't want to play. Coward. Cowardice. A check uh, by using the diagonals is going to be a bit difficult actually. So I hopefully don't stalemate him. Uh, what if I try this? Yeah, I think checkmate is unstoppable now. He has uh, a platter of moves with the uh, pawns and the rooks. I'm not worried about stalemating him. Uh, should I give a check though? I don't think so. I think if I don't give a check, it's just going to, to make things more difficult for him. He has nowhere to go with the king, he's completely blocked off except for this square, but then I'll just come here and he's in big trouble. Or maybe even here, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if he tries to defend with the rook, it's good that my bishop is defending that square. Uh, accept, he wants to chat. Accept. B3. Uh, B3. What does he mean? b3 which that's this square i'll ask him what he means <laughs> I, I hope he's not salty it's, it's a game of skill he shouldn't be salty oh gg okay i'll, I'll thank him for the game uh i ha i'm happy to see that he's not salty um, but uh, he should at least resign and not waste uh, anybody's time. That would be most uh, sportsman-like. But uh, I don't think uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think he's, he plans to do that. Although he did say GG, so I don't know. He's giving me mixed signals. Like, are you a good guy or are you not a good guy? If you play on, uh, you have a chance of uh, b3 checkmate or uh, b3 checkmate. Uh, you, does he mean this? But that's g3? b3 checkmate. Um, <laughs> first of all, it's not checkmate. He can just take it. And uh, second of all, uh, b3 is this square. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no piece that can access that square except for this bishop, but that's obviously um, Okay, he, he just resigned. Okay, he, he was mindfulling me a bit with uh, <laughs> With those uh, chats Okay, now I'll, I'll give him a, a thumbs up. He was a good sport I won't have add him as a friend though. I think we <laughs> wouldn't be able to communicate well with each other so let's see what uh, the game was. No great moves, no brilliant moves from either of us, but 90% accuracy compared to 75. This was a good game. Uh, I'm actually curious to see what the best move here is. I'm just defending the pawn and uh, trying to win back my pawn. 
I guess that make that makes sense. Okay, I'm very happy I found that move with the uh, pawn. That's supposed to be the best move. Okay, I kind of felt something that the position was uh, getting a bit weakened, but that's not the way to abuse that. They want me to open the file, which uh, I wouldn't have considered. Okay. Oh, that's the best move. I'm very happy that I found this move. Uh, but that's not the backup idea, I guess. I did that because I wanted to... Oh, that was not no longer the best move because now I have this avenue of attack. I guess that makes sense. Okay. This is all English knowledge, by the way. It's all knowledge from the English opening, so I was very happy with it. And... Uh, Mate in five, mate in one even. What's what's the best move? Oh, for him the best move is to the defend with the queen. Okay, I thought I thought uh, as much as well. But what's the best move for me? Uh, checkmate. Oh, this is checkmate. Oh yeah, because the knight is defending. Okay, that's very smart. Yeah, the knights are, the knight is defending, the pawn is defending, the queen is defending, yeah, that's very smart, I didn't see that at all. I thought that I messed up here by letting the, the knight uh, defend, but I'm happy that this move happened as well. And this is still checkmate actually. Uh, how is this checkmate? Let me find this. No, let me look for it. <laughs> Oh, B3 is checkmate, that's what he meant, G3. I thought that it was undefended, it was defended by the queen. Okay, that guy is a genius. But if he's so smart, why didn't he beat me? <laughs> I'm sorry for uh, saying that we'd have uh, communication problems. He's obviously way smarter than me. But can he just... No, I was going to say that uh, he can just go up, but the queen is blocking. Okay, very smart. I'll try to be more efficient next time, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching for now. Like, sub, do all the generic stuff, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.